Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick overview and insight as to what Paranoid Android is all about. So you've seen me already install it in one of my previous videos, so it's time to check out what it's all about. So, let's get to review table and let's do this. Right, so here is Paranoid Android, and as you can see, it does look like a stock Cyanogen mod or a stock Jelly Bean, etc. ROM. Reason for that is it is based off Cyanogen mod 10, so it's going to look very stockish. And you're probably looking at it thinking, so what's the advantage of having this one of, let's say, Cyanogen mod? Well, I'm going to show you that today. So, let's get into it really quickly. As you can see, it's got his settings at the top, and you'll probably see straight away that it looks different. Reason why it looks different is because it effectively it's in it's in hybrid mode. Now what this ROM does, it uses both tablet and phone mode, it combines them together. So you get this kind of look cool looking kind of effect down the side, which we'll see on a normal Android tablet. And you'll see as you go through some of them, go to sound, you, know, you get all your different options there. And it basically it's kind of making use of all that screen real estate that you get on a 720p device. Now I must say I think it's a really cool idea. And just to show you this that we know, it is running Android 4.1.1 Cyanogen mod. We look at the Cyanogen mod version, it does say Paranoid Android. So I'm going to show you a, cool little, a couple of cool little features that I love about this one. So obviously on the launcher, you get your basic settings that you get with any Cyanogen mod one. So jumping out of that one. So obviously you can change your lock screen, you've got different themes. These are all ones you get standard in Cyanogen mod anywhere. This one is the all important one, which is your Paranoid Android settings. So you get configuration, apps, backup and restart and help. Now, basically go to configuration. This is where you get your kind of main one. So you've got hybrid off, you've got your stock UI, hybrid mode on. So effectively your phone looks like it's a normal phone, but then it can use the tablet applications. You can have phablet UI, which effectively is a hybrid between both the tablet and the actual phone itself. So effectively it's using like the like you've probably seen that one in regards to the Nexus 7. You've got tablet UI small, medium and big. Effectively it's using the full tablet mode for each of those. So at the moment I am running basically stock UI. So let's say we want to go to the phablet mode. So all you do is tap it, click OK. It's now going to reboot. So after the reboot's done, we'll come back and you'll see that it looks completely different. So here we are, we've rebooted, we're at the lock screen, and as you'll see, it doesn't look much different already, you're probably thinking. Well, you're probably right in that aspect. When you pull down the actual metal, the status bar itself, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, and it's actually the sides as well. Reason for that is it's in phablet mode. So you, this is very similar to what you've probably seen on the Nexus 7. So obviously you can go up and down, as you normally expect. And again, you'll see the status bar at the top, it is really small. So effectively it's giving you some more screen real estate. Um, that's pretty much all I've kind of noticed that the phablet mode does. It kind of just makes this part look a little, a little different. Everything else seems very similar. It's effectively like a mini Nexus 7. Let's jump back into the settings. Let's go back down to Paranoid Android settings again. Go to configuration. What we're going to do now is just show you what it's like with regards to one of the actual tablet UI modes. So really quickly, we'll try the big one. So obviously why not, we show you the actual big one on there. Once again, it's going to reboot, so I'm just going to speed this part up again, and we're going to come back in a moment or two. Right, so welcome back again. So let's unlock once again. And you're thinking, Sam, it does it look a lot different? Well, as you've noticed, the actual status bar at the top has now disappeared. It's now down at the bottom. And reason for this is because it's effectively using what you've always known as, you know, kind of like the tablet mode you normally see. So as an example, tap there. It brings up your normal kind of stuff. Tap it again. You bring up any kind of normal settings, so you can change your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. What you've basically seen on your Android tablets in the past, obviously you want to go to your settings, job done, and you can go back to them again. Let's go back out of there, let's go back to there again. And you see notifications, so any notifications that were there, you can have them turned on or turn them off. And I must say, I think it's cool, I've just got like a little brightness slider. And for some people, this could actually be a godsend with regards to if they think that, you know, this kind of phone's too big for them. You know, reaching to the top. Well, effectively, everything's here at the bottom for you now. So you can't, you know, people can't really complain that a device is too big for them. Obviously, regards to what network you're on, what kind of internet, um, Wi-Fi I'm on, battery, etc. And this is just a very cool idea with regards to everything that's on there. So if you want to get your application just as of normal, go to your application, lock, you know, the actual app drawer there, and boom, all your applications there as of normal.
So you're probably thinking, so is that the main difference is? Well, if you go to the YouTube application, what you'll probably see here is yes, it uses this bad boy. So effectively, instead of using the actual, the one that normally comes on jelly bean ice cream sandwich, it's using the tablet version, which I must say is a very cool looking way of doing it. If you want to go to a you know, video, basically obviously you tap on your video, start to line up there, and job done. So you're probably thinking, wow, this is pretty damn cool. You are correct. Now there's a couple of little hindering things where you've probably seen here, you know, it's a little kind of all jagged all together, so it's not the easiest to read. Maybe with regards to some extra tweaks that may come, you know, you know get a bit better in the future again. I'm going to give you comments, and they're all there. And I mean, I, I must say, I think it's a very cool idea. Now you're probably thinking, Sam, well, I don't want to have the tablet mode like that. You know, I, I don't really like it. It's not really my kind of thing. Well, okay, you don't have to have that. You can basically go into your settings once again. So let's jump into those settings. Go back into Paranet Android. Configuration. Let's go back to tablet mode, because that's my personal favorite. So we're going to say more pop rock really quickly. Right, so we're back at the lock screen. So as you'll see, we're back in the tablet mode. Again, this is my personal favorite. And effectively, it's bridging you across from tablet and phone. So once again, if you go back to the YouTube application, you'll see that it is the tablet one again. You're thinking, that's okay, but I'm not a massive fan of it. Not a problem. Basically, pull down, go to your settings, go to your Paranoid Android settings, go to your applications. It now gives you a list of all your different applications. And in here, you can say, right, the YouTube application. Um, I don't really like it in the current view it's in, so I want to make it to that kind of standard one. So click save, click OK. What will happen now? It's that's officially saved that one. Jump back into your application. It sometimes can crash. It's back to the stack one. So it's the one you normally get in regards to a mobile phone. And again, if you want to keep changing that, just basically keep going back into your settings. Go to your Paranoid Android, go to your applications. It's got every single one of them, so you can change them to your heart's desire. Go back to YouTube. Scroll across, you can change the layout. You can obviously charge to get, you can force it as well. Now, what I can normally do as well is bring down the DPI to 160, click save, click OK. Now, what you'll see is when you jump into that one, look how small everything seems to be. There we go. So, we've got pretty much all of them, pretty much all the people I subscribe to on my the second channel there, all within like one little list. But if you don't, you know, if you've got bad eyesight and you're thinking, oh, actually, no, I want to go back to the bigger one, basically, all you do is scroll over to the top. Click save, click OK. And once again, jump back into the application. And now you'll see, it's gone back to the stock one. So they're all nice and big again for you. So I mean, there's just a couple of features with regards to Paranoid Android. I mean, the main feature is with regards to having tablet mode, hybrid mode, using tablet applications on the actual phone itself. Yes, you can do this with regards to root device normally, but I like the fact that it's all there in nice kind of Paranoid settings for you in the configuration on the apps. This has been my overview of regards to Paranoid Android. If you like this kind of video and you want more of these kind of videos, don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe, you know, favourite, all that kind of good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Sam J Pullum. Hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of video. Been a bit longer than my normal ones, but you know, a lot of people keep asking me for overviews of certain ROMs that I use. And again, if you want to check this out and I'll show how to install it, links are all in the description and annotations on screen right about now. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.